Joshua Scott Jones was living the dream, signed to a major record label and part of a hit country duo. But over time, he began dabbling in a lifestyle that he soon had no control over. We did a show out in San Diego, and um, because of the pace of everything and everything that was going on in my life, I, I ended up collapsing in the airport. So I think that at that point, I could see it on everybody's face. I couldn't take it really as a joke anymore. Shortly after, Jones entered rehab. It made me who I am, you know, and that's the thing about life. So you, you can't, you can have so many regrets, but there comes a point where you need to move on. Anything you want to know about the process is within these 11 tracks, a body of work appropriately titled The Healing. You can feel some of the sadness on the record. I feel like, you know, it's pretty heavy. Was there kind of a fine line of, I don't want it to get too personal, or were you just totally all out there willing to spill it all? I think at the time I was at a place where I just spilled it all out there and wanted to be very candid about it. Like most country records, there are love songs. Love. Lover, let me show you my heart. That's really a special song to me because I, I wrote it by myself. And the classic country sound. It's really a, I'm not gonna say a rip off of Waylon, but kind of. There are also lots of drinking titles, but the lyrics are far from your typical drinking songs. Thank you. Do you is really kind of a metaphor about? self-sabotage and like the things that you go through you know I think the first line is praying for my 97th try. Overall it's a very deep album but the single takes on a bit of a lighter tone. Punk if you're tonky and it's really an anthem about being yourself and it's important I feel like it was a good lead off track. Jones says his recovery is a process he's still healing but over the hump. I've learned a lot from it and um, I have a lot to say because of it so I'm grateful for it and I just think life is a precious thing and I didn't really look at it that way before. As for Steel Magnolia, despite their personal breakup and loss of a record deal, fans continue to wonder about the future of the duo. Jones says he can't predict the future but certain about where they both need to be right now. Yeah. We're completely focused on what we're doing, and I'm, I'm completely focused on the healing on this record and, uh, and just moving forward.